It's, it's interesting to me that if this movie had come out five years ago or, or seven or ten years ago, I think we would be reading it much differently than we do now simply because of the movies that have come out since the more recent kind of guy buddy comedy. Yeah, everything has its moment in time. It just <laughs> came together the way the way it should, as things often do. It just, you know, it hammered to kindly, you know, finally kind of land the idea dead on front and center and get it in one draft and uh, put this cast together is amazing. With this idea of sort of the kind of dude on dude comedy, it, it, it's something that I think is, it's, <laughs> that you, that I think that you and, and Jason and some of the other films that you've been in have sort of, again, played with this idea, or not re but not really gotten to the heart of it. And was it something that you liked about doing this, was the idea of really sort of exploring more, like, just as the point of the movie, the idea of male friendship? Oh yeah, when I, when I first read the script, I, I kind of couldn't believe that this movie hadn't been made already. I was surprised. It seemed like such a no-brainer. Yeah, the idea came first from a script called uh, Let's Make Friends by Larry Levin, uh, and, and Donald bought, Donald Blind bought that script many years ago and they were developing it. And then I always thought it was a great premise just because it was something that was kind of out there for everybody to relate to, but I don't think people really talk about it. The, the male friendship and, and kind of how do you make friends as an adult. I just use my own experience to write all these things. So it's like when I met a guy that I wanted to hang out with as an adult, there's no way, I don't know how to do it. Do I wait two days? Um, you know, like all the stuff that they brilliantly did in Fat Rose movie and Swingers. swingers yeah. yeah, you know, it's like that was all that, you know, sort of, um, romantic relationships, but there are there is no way to go. How do I take this to the next level? Do I do I call the guy's wife and say I want to hang out with your husband? <laughs> I didn't know that, so I thought it'd be fun to put in a movie. It's just kind of not very alpha male friendly, which is, is that's what Jason and I are uh, are like. We're, well, I am. I'm not. I'm not even a. I'm not even a beta male. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely. I related to the script as soon as I read it. I, I've had the same best friend since I was 12 years old. And uh, we lived together for the past couple of years. And uh, and he left about six months ago to go to med school. And uh, I gave him like a real dude goodbye. I was like, all right, man, proud of you. Catch you, catch you in New York, buddy. And uh, I woke up at two in the morning that night crying hysterically. I had to call my mother. So when I read the script, I felt like it was material I could really see. <laughs> I was just very happy to fit into this ensemble. It's, uh, I started off as an actor. If I had been working in movies like this, where I really like how it comes out, and like the director and the way that, and the cast and the experience of it, I don't think I ever would have gotten into filmmaking. I was very happy just being an actor. Uh, this film, it was just a pleasure to be able to go there, turn my brain off in a very chaotic moment in my in my career, and to go to the set and, and, and be with these people day in and day out. And it, and there was no pecking order there. The, 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 the leads of the film were as gracious as though it were, everybody were of equal importance in the ensemble. And John really encouraged us to improvise. We The stuff was written very well. But then when the camera was on you, even if you had a smaller role and didn't have a lot of lines in a scene, you got your coverage and you got to try whatever the hell you wanted and he would enthusiastically offer suggestions. I felt pretty empowered by it <laughs> um, because I feel like you don't often get to see a woman in a movie who is opinionated and dynamic and independent and really just kind of wants the best for the situation. So I, I, I like the role reversal, and I, I was telling John Hamburg last night that he really likes women, which I think is not always the case with directors. Well, no, and it also takes a special kind of writer to be able to write for a woman. Definitely. And, and have them be strong and empowered and, yeah. I'm I wish sure. I knew you guys when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I was writing about what I had observed from the women that I know in my life, and my wife and her group of friends, and, and just, I think women talk in a much more sick and a way than sex <laughs> than men. I think men, what I was trying to explore was that men, I find men sort of dance around the issues when they're with each other. Did it appeal to you more for the things that were familiar to you, or for the things that maybe seemed a little, like a spin on the character, like a little different? Well. This one doesn't live in a trailer park. <laughs> and the relationship she has with her husband, I, I just loved the dynamic because it was a very real relationship. We all know that couple. And um, it's one of the most real relationships in the film, I think, because it is what it, 
What do you call it? Fuck or fight? Well, yeah, fuck or fight. <laughs> when two people are fighting as much as we are in this movie, there's something deep down that says to, to you know, that they're not giving up. If you're fighting that much, it shows that there's on some there's deep level. Passion. I don't think these people have the proper tools to, <laughs> to deal with their thing. And I got a lot of clues from the script, like I have a tiny penis, so. <laughs> and a Jew pro, and you're 40 pounds over there. Thank you, thank you for you're helping out with that. You're welcome, Mr. Iron Man. Uh, so, so, uh, we, so I had to, I was like, it was like a Daniel Day-Lewis type transformation. <laughs> Discovered. It's really interesting. Having a small penis, it's like a whole new perspective. On the <laughs> that really became a hook for the character. <laughs> so I didn't say Oscar buzz, but, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I would love to get one. I, think I deserve it, but I did do the I did do the work. I did do the work. Yeah, and I think also these guys are are being modest because I like I feel like I wrote the script, but everybody here wrote the movie because they some of the funniest lines and just constant invention and, and creativity came from from these guys. And when you have amazing actors who have such quick minds, uh, not just people who have credited you know credited writers, but but these other guys who haven't officially written stuff, they, they all wrote a lot of their character. Being allowed to do our jobs and actually get into character and act and, and um, having our director, writer, our writer director support that is absolutely one of the key reasons why the film is as funny as it is. And this is the type of movie that, I think the execution is even better than the concept and I think that the people who've seen it and in a room where people could be twittering back and forth <laughs> and the word gets out there, I think it's the people who see it and feel connected to it that will spread the word on it. And so for me to be here to help, to be able to bust through all of the really expensive spending that goes on in bigger movies that surround us, you know, it's an honor to be here and support this thing. Would you rather, if you had a choice between drinking um, or smoking weed, what would you, what, what would you choose? Uh, drinking. For me. <laughs> We're done, I think that'll do it. Let's give a big... Uh, Why do you have something?